Good afternoon. Welcome back. Hopefully you all had a wonderful holiday if you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, hopefully you had a wonderful week. Uh, I had an okay week, but one thing that has not been okay is my batteries. I'm going to roll some footage from the last two weeks of what I've been dealing with. I'm running the generator, charging up the batteries, because if it was reading 12.1 before at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I can only imagine what it would be reading after the sun goes down. Not that the sun was out today, or yesterday, because it wasn't, but... Well, I'm going to guess the generator's been running for maybe like an hour and a half, two hours now. And I can't seem to get the batteries up over 80%. I don't know. Maybe I need to run it longer. But I'm still going to shut it off because I need to go shower. Oh my god, we did it. We got to 100% on the batteries. It is saying 13.1. I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna shut the generator off, unhook the battery charger, and I'm gonna see what the batteries are at in the morning. Keep in mind, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna be running anything other than a couple of lights. I'm not even gonna run a lot. But yeah, this is just going to be a test, basically to see if there is something wrong with my batteries or they're draining quickly for some reason, because lately they just, I don't know, something's been up with those batteries. Well, it's been a couple of minutes and they're already down to 12.8. So next morning, batteries are down to 12.4. I have a couple lights on in here, but is that normal? They were charged to 100% last night on the charger. So my predicament is this. I will be gone on the weekend for several days, you know, over Christmas, and I won't be here. I have a family member coming to keep the fire going through the day and keep the cats fed. You know, obviously the cats need to stay warm too. So I'm worried about the batteries because although the fire will be going during the day, the diesel heater will be running at night and you know that takes some battery juice so if I'm having issues now where my batteries are showing low in the morning after not really running anything I'm kind of worried about what they're gonna be like after running the diesel heater every evening If there's no Sun over those couple of days then I'm really gonna worry about the condition of the batteries and I don't have one of those fancy setups where you can just go on an app and check your batteries. I, yeah, I don't have that. So now I'm worried. I don't know. Let, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think my batteries, there's something wrong there? Because I, I feel like after I've charged them up 100%, they just shouldn't drop to 12.5 and then in the morning just be 12.4 like when I'm not really running anything other than a couple of lights here and there like it just seems like something is not right see that that is not a happy face my batteries are just not heaven it lately and it is only December so yeah, as you saw, my batteries have not been faring well these days. I have the charger permanently hooked up to the generator right now. Well, let me show you. Charger here, I just have it under a container because if it rains or snows, I don't know if these things are waterproof or, you know, snowproof. <laughs> so I have a little container just covering it, you know, a little bit of weight on top. Let's take a look in here. And yeah, I've got it permanently hooked up so that every time I run the generator, it is going to put a little bit of a charge in the batteries at least. 
So several times in the past two weeks or so, maybe more, I have completely charged the batteries on the battery charger, you know, 100% charge. And once I shut down the generator, the batteries tend to drop to about 12.5. They don't stay any higher than that. And the summer before last, at least, you know, after getting sun all day long, um, the batteries were sitting at around 12.9 in the dark at night when they weren't getting any sun or anything. So it's obvious to me that they are not performing as well as they used to. Now, I don't know if there is just one battery that is not doing so well and bringing the other two down because they are hooked up in parallel. Now, I am certain there is some sort of meter or device that you can put on batteries that will tell you whether the battery is good or bad. Um, if you know what that's called, please let me know because I'd like to pick one up. I don't want to go ahead and buy brand new batteries just yet if it happens to be just one of my batteries you know, drawing, bringing the power down in all of them because they are hooked up parallel. But yeah, like I said, I know that at some point I will need to get brand new batteries and apparently they're good for approximately 10 years. But I don't want to go ahead and buy them right now if I don't need to. So if you know what that meter is called, because I, I have no idea, <laughs> let me know. I'd like to get one. Um, I'm assuming I will have to unhook my batteries so they're not all hooked up together to test the batteries individually, which is fine. Um, I just don't want to be wasteful, like I said, and buy brand new batteries if it just happens to be one of my batteries drawing the power down from the other two. It's not that sunny today. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but I do see the sun shining right there. Um, however, there are a ton of clouds in front of it. So, believe it or not, I am getting a little bit of solar today. As you can see, i got 2.7 amps coming in. The batteries are looking good. They're sitting at 13.4. However, you know, even though I'm getting a charge for a good portion of today, um, tonight when the sun goes down and it's completely dark, those batteries are probably going to be sitting at 12.5 or 12.4. And like I said, I'm not using a lot of power in here. Um, I'm really just running lights for the most part. If I need power for anything else, I'll just flick on the generator, but my battery should not be sitting that low. So something definitely isn't right. And yeah, by the way, if you notice in the background, we do have new backsplash. Totally going to run into the same issue as I've had with all the other peel and stick backsplashes. I find myself, every time I walk by here, you know, kind of, look, 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 look. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm going by and I'm trying to smooth down the edges that are lifting. I mean, I don't know. I think this was my last attempt with the peel and stick. I do like it. It's very easy to use, but if it doesn't do its job of actually sticking on the wall, then I guess it's just not going to work for me. I mean, I sprayed adhesive on each one of those and everything, and it's still, it's still not sticking to the wall. So, is it me, or is it the peel and stick? I don't know. Maybe it's just that it's too warm in here. I don't know. I'm, I give up. I give up on the peel and stick backsplash. <laughs> I've also got peel and stick floor tiles in here, and... It doesn't look bad at all until you point the camera this way and you can see where the heat from the wood stove has kind of made the floor tiles more gappy and there are places where the floor tiles kind of migrate it and they're kind of making a little roof peak here where they're lifting up. There's a burn mark from a coal. But um, yeah, the sticky tiles don't like heat, I guess. Anyway, I had to give the peel and stick backsplash one more chance, and that the, this was the last one. Now back to the batteries. Um, I, I'm trying to remember if this is my fifth year or sixth year here. I think I'm coming into my sixth year of living in the camper. And going back to the beginning, the batteries that I have now were secondhand when I got them and I was fortunate enough to get those batteries for free which 
helped out big time because as you know batteries are a really huge expense um, I've been pricing them out now and for middle of the road batteries that I've been looking at they're like four hundred dollars a piece so definitely saved myself some money getting started with having you know batteries be gifted to me having said that I don't know how old they were when I got them so the ones I've been looking at online typically I guess last around 10 years so if I'm going on year six here, then those batteries probably are getting close to the end of their life, I would say. But regardless, like I said, I don't want to buy three brand new batteries without first determining, you know, what the problem is. Now the only things that are running on that solar system out there currently, um, obviously we've got our displays here, which I can't imagine would take too much power. We've got our fridge lights, which I can't imagine would take too much power. The rest of it runs on propane. Also, we have our litter, litter, little monitor here for the diesel heater. Um, it's really hard to see the sun is kind of shining on it, but it just, it's just a display screen. So all of those things combined, that shouldn't be drawing a whole lot of power. And if I have one set of lights in here running, that also shouldn't be drawing a whole lot of power. So I'm just confused as to why my batteries sit as low as like 12.4 and 12.5 after being charged all day, either by the sun or, you know, when I run the generator and fully charge the batteries on the battery charger. So like I said, something, something is wrong there that I need to, uh, to figure out. So yeah, we've got a 330 watt panel on the roof on this side, charging three batteries on this solar system. And over here, we've got the small 40 watt panels. So in total, we've got 40, 80, 160 watts charging two batteries. Why am I getting a higher reading on the batteries over here than over there? I know this looks like a total mess under here, but another thing is that, and maybe somebody can tell me, maybe you know, I have no idea what the amp hours are on these batteries. You know, when I got started with this whole thing, I didn't know that amp hours was something that you needed to be aware of. I didn't know that it was something that was useful to know. I mean, I, I started from scratch with this whole off-grid RV living thing. So a friend of mine had mentioned that where this says 220 GXL, he thought that maybe that meant these batteries were 220 amp hours, but I'm not sure and I don't think they actually say. Um, like I said, I got these batteries for free and I'm super grateful that I did because buying them brand new are very expensive as I've been seeing online when I'm currently looking in case I need to buy some, but um, yeah, if you know where I could find that information, I don't think it actually says on these batteries. This battery right here on the generator is the oldest battery that I have. And this one says 180 GXL. And below it, it says 180 minute runtime. So I'm sure somebody might know what that means if that converts to amp hours or if that's just something totally different. Um, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't say. But I know that some of you guys like to say that I'm pretty handy and stuff like this, but I will admit to you, I know nothing about batteries. <laughs> and I didn't know anything about solar before getting started. I still feel like there's a lot I don't know about solar. It's just, it's still kind of confusing to me. But that's where your help comes in because you guys are always pretty good at giving me advice or telling me things that I did not know. I feel like this is just part of adulthood, you know? You start getting ahead and then there's always something. There's always something. <laughs> if it's not the fridge or the diesel heater, it's the batteries. It's the batteries. I want to mention too that my batteries are reading low like this without using the diesel heater. Um, you know, because as long as I'm home, I'm not using the diesel heater really ever. It's kind of just there as a backup for when I'm away, if I need to run it overnight or something. But that's not affecting the batteries. 
you know, when I'm getting up in the morning and seeing that the batteries are 12 or 12.1, that's not after running the diesel heater at night, just so you know. Also, I do have my inverter hooked up, which is, you know, different from last year because I didn't have it hooked up last year. However, that is also never on <laughs> and running. Um, I have the ability to turn it on from inside the camper by a push of a button. Um, you know, if you leave those things on, the fans spin inside and that draws power, but this is not on. It's hooked up, so it can be turned on, but it's not on. I'm just trying to cover all the bases be before people think, well, you're running this and you're running this and you're running that, but I don't run much for power. I really, really don't. All I'm using in there for the most part is lights, and I, it's not like I have every single one of them turned on. I don't. <laughs> so... Yeah, definitely, definitely something with the batteries because previous winters I did not have this problem. And in fact, there was one winter, two winters ago, where I had to, I had to put a charge on the battery with the battery charger once in January because we just weren't getting enough sun or there was too much snow sitting on the solar panels, um, things like that. But that is not the case this year and actually so far actually haven't had any amount of snow on the ground here yet this year this winter all we've had for snow is a little tiny dusting that's all we've had got a little bit here and there but um yeah we haven't had any amount of snow on the ground here yet i'm not complaining you guys know i don't like that stuff but yeah just trying to Make it a point that there hasn't been any snow covering the panel. Just letting you know, I'm not crazy here. There's something's going on with those batteries. They're just, uh, they're not performing like they used to. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from me. Just a bunch of drama with my batteries. <laughs> but like I said, if you have any suggestions or advice on um, what to do about my battery situation, please let me know in the comments below. And also... The batteries that I was looking at online, in case I need new batteries, uh, like I said, I want to want to make sure I absolutely need them before I go ahead and buy them because they are a big purchase. Um, the batteries I was looking at online are the LifePo 4 batteries. I know there's a few different kinds of them, but I think they run about $390 a pop. I believe they're the lithium iron phosphate batteries. So if you have any experience with those, um, let me know what you think of them as well if you don't mind. And I think that's pretty much everything. Hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will catch you next. Bye. Getting a good thumbnail takes work sometimes. <laughs> I heard that the other batteries are much lighter.